Hey guys, so we've been waiting a long time for this, and the moment's here. This is a R33 Nissan Skyline GTR V-Spec, and it's actually a very pristine one, so we'll take a closer look at it. But first, let's jump in the car, do a test drive, and then we'll walk around the car and show you what it's all about. I'm sitting in a R33 Nissan Skyline GTR. Uh, we're going to test drive the car and so you can get a feel for what it's like to ride around in the R33. And I'll try to compare it to the R32 as well as some other JDM cars. Uh, but of course, the first thing we should do is a little bit of wide open throttle. Just hit 120 kilometers an hour. Uh, it's very healthy. Help boost up to the top. It's on low boost right now. This car actually has over 500 wheel horsepower. Uh, we'll go into more detail on that uh, once we pull the car into the shop and do a walk around. Let's take a turn real quick. I will drive, kicked in, and uh, handled it like a charm. Clutch is smooth. Feels like a stock clutch, honestly. Brakes are amazing. They're smooth like butter. There's no shaking or vibration at all. Clutch is light. It's very easy to jump in and just start driving. It's fun to have the blow off be a little bit louder than normal. It's probably from the intakes. Do a, do a bumpy road test here. Yeah, suspension feels good. Bushings feel good. Right now, as of driving this, this car has 29,662 kilometers. So under 30,000 kilometers. This is a very pristine R33 Nissan Skyline GTR. I would say it feels like it's got more sound deadening. Uh, the car is a little bit more comfortable across the board than an R32. Uh, the interior is pretty nice. Uh, I like the suede interior, uh, the seats, the back seats. Everything's just a little bit different, but also a little bit of a step up in quality. Uh, the dash is immaculate on this car as well as the rest of the interior. Uh, so I'll pull in the shop and I will give you guys a full walkthrough of the interior, the engine, the trunk. Uh, we'll just look at this car in more detail, but this is the test drive part of the car. I uh, hope you enjoyed the ride and I'll see you on the inside. All right, here we are. This is a R33 Nissan Skyline GTR. We're gonna show you a closer look at it, uh, but before we do, let's tell you a little bit about it. Uh, this car has under 30,000 kilometers original mileage. Uh, which translates to under 19,000 miles, uh, in case you're trying to compare it to the U.S. translation. Uh, it's verified mileage, and it's also a verified V-Spec. Uh, it's also a one-owner Nissan Skyline GTR, so this car was actually stored in a climate-controlled private collection since it was brand new from the factory. But we're pretty sure this is the first legally imported R33 Nissan Skyline GTR in America based off the 25 year exemption rule. So let's do a quick walk around and show you what this car is all about. Let's take a closer look here at the wheels. Some nice Nismo wheels here. This car's got a lot under the hood, so we'll talk about that when we get there. Uh, the paint's in immaculate condition. Love the spoiler on these. Let us know in the comments what you think about this car and how you, how you like it compared to the R32. Give you a look at the back end here.
It's also got stock exhaust. And in case you missed it, it's a V-spec. It's pretty cool. It's got brake lights on the spoiler. And some shiny taillights. You can actually see in the reflection in the taillight. Can't do that in the R32s. Let's take a look at the inside. The door panels are quite a bit different from the R32s. It's got the OEM skyline floor mats. Very nice interior. Take a quick look at the R33 seats. A lot of R32s come with R33 seats because it's a common upgrade. Another seat is back because I had a camera back there for the test drive. It's not broken. <laughs> yeah, I had a GoPro sitting back there for the test drive so I lowered the seat. Let's get inside. It's got a nice GTR emblem here in the center console. I mean, with such low mileage, you would expect it to be pretty pristine, especially since it was kept in a climate-controlled environment, and it definitely shows that. You can see the AC vents are different. These are common to break on the R32s, and this feels solid. It looks feels brand new. Same with these. It's very different than the R32s. Some gauges, climate control. It's got an aftermarket radio. Most cars do. And you'll most likely need to change the radio because the frequency is, are different here in the US. Here, let me turn the, light, turn the lights on so you can see the gauges. Twenty-nine thousand six hundred and sixty-three original kilometers. It's a pretty cool gauge cluster. It's got the factory steering wheel. It's got a couple gauges over here. Uh, it's also got the factory flare. Most cars in Japan have that in case of emergencies. Let's take a look at the back seat here. It's a different texture than the R32s. It actually feels more comfortable. Sorry, the lighting's not ideal. If, if you want to see the interior in more detail, let us know in the comments and we'll try to do another video with better lighting here. But yeah, that's an inside look at this R33 Nissan Skyline GTR. So next step is to just to pop the hood. Take a look at that. I'll pop the trunk too so we can look at the trunk. All right, here we are. Looking at the engine of this R33 Nissan Skyline GTR. I'll probably look from a high level and explain some of the mods it has, just for simplicity, but to start it's got aftermarket intakes. It's 
got aftermarket intake piping, HKS. Has a nice strut bar. It's adjustable. Uh, it looks like adjustable suspension, but it's not. Alright, let me tell you a little bit about this motor here while you look at it. It's got the Nismo Turbo Upgrade, which is actually the biggest OEM Nissan Turbo Upgrade you could get. Uh, it's capable of 650 horsepower. Uh, it's got HKS cams, uh, so there's a lot under the hood that you can't see here. It's got a boost controller, that's a mines intake. It's mines. It's got HKS front magnetic coil piping. Take a quick look down there. It's hard to see, but it does have a pretty big intercooler. Another big difference is just the front bumper on the R33s. I think that looks pretty cool. Let's a closer look at the headlights. Again, the lighting's not ideal right now to look at the engine, so if you want to see the engine and better lighting, let us know in the comments and we'll create another video for you. Otherwise, let's, let's go take a look at the trunk. It's got a couple extra floor mats here. Looks like they probably covered the OEM floor mats. You can tell this thing's been taken care of. We've been waiting a long time for this and they're finally here. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment, let us know what you want to see more of. If you want to see more about this car, let us know what you want to see. If you want to see us do some test drive videos and closer looks at any of our other inventory, then uh, leave a comment about that too, and we'll do that for you. And as you can see, we've got a lot of cars. If you check our website, we've got plenty more Skylines. We've imported over 300 cars from Japan. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and leave a comment. Today's walk around video is of our 1995 Nissan Skyline GTR. It's a R33 and it's a V-Spec. This is not your average R33 Nissan Skyline GTR. This is a one owner car. The original owner stored the car in a climate controlled private collection since it was brand new. Uh, it's also the first documented imported R33 GTR based under the 25 year rule. And on top of all that, it's only got 29,600 kilometers, which translates to roughly 18,000 miles. For a 25-year-old car to have 18,000 miles, this is a pristine example of an R33 GTR. We're not going to be test driving the car in this video. This is a walk-around video showing the car closer up. If you'd like to see a test drive of the video, then check out the test drive of the R33 GTR. It's going to be on our channel. And material progress in your lifetime and mine.
I mean, you're looking at a car that's almost 25, 26 years old, and the handling around corners is pristine. I've never been in one, never ridden one, and it was just a life-changing experience. For me, it gives me an opportunity to experience a different world. Montu Motors is the bomb.com. Would I recommend Montu Motors? Absolutely. I would definitely recommend Montu Motors. Absolutely, I'd recommend Montu. I couldn't be happier with my purchase for Montu Motors. Mm -hmm.